summertime, trying to get some yard work done, started craving some ribs. Uh, you know, I didn't have time to season them up last night, do all the normal stuff. Just gonna show you guys a quick down and dirty three, two, one method. We're gonna make some baby back ribs. Um, it's gonna be awesome. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with the silver skin. I'm not gonna trim them. I'm literally gonna cut open the bag right here on the smoker in the yard, slip it on, season them up, and walk away for three hours. This done, going. Put some seasoning on them real quick. I got my gloves. I don't even have to go back in the house and get cleaned up. Throw this in the trash. Got just a little bit of mustard. Just help it stick. And you know, I mean, they, these aren't going to be competition ribs, but I'll tell you what, they're sure going to be delicious. Got some of my Davies Fat Boy Rub. Nice, light, even coat. That. Slop on just a little bit more mustard. A little bit more JBs. The JBs can be kind of salty, so you want to be a little careful not to get too carried away. These are baby backs, they're pretty meaty, they can handle a good amount of the salt. dusting meat right there, cover it all up, get them centered up so we don't burn on the edges of our trigger. See you guys in three hours. Okay, it's been about three hours, had this about 180 degrees on the smoker, uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap them up with some foil. Uh, I'm going to use Caliber, uh, my liquor store sells broken six packs, dollar bottle, uh, it's non-alcoholic, it's got a pretty decent flavor to it. Apple juice, Dr. Pepper, uh, anything you want, just some sort of liquid. I'm just gonna technically steam the ribs right now. So I'm just gonna kind of build a little barrier here. Try and hold this up without making too big of a mess. Uh, about half, half a beer, six ounces or so. You can use whatever you want. Like I said, you don't have to use beer. So like, like I said, this isn't even alcoholic. So wrap it up good. Put another layer over the top. We're going to let these go for about two hours, 225 degrees. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, it's been two hours inside the foil. It's been trying to rain on us all day. We're just going to do this quick. Like I said, we're just doing down and dirty, three, two, one ribs. We did three hours of smoke, two hours of steam. I'm going to put them back on. In this last hour, it's mostly just to get some of that color back, uh, crisp them back up. I'm going to sauce one rack. I'm going to leave the other rack al natural. So, uh, Check it out. Feel free to take this inside if you want to or whatever, but like I said, I'm trying to just do this all outside, no mess, no fuss. Show you how easy it can be just to make some awesome barbecue. Look at there, we got a little pullback on the ribs. They look like they're gonna be nice and soft. Oh, and here is for the foil. There we go. I'm just going to let all that run right into the dish tray. Hold that up. Get it out of the way. Use a little sweet baby rays. And I don't know if I'll let these run the whole hour. It might be more like 30, 45 minutes. You can do whatever you want. They're perfectly cooked. If you don't, uh, you're short on time or you don't want to mess with this at all, you can take them inside, eat them just like this, and they're gonna be great. All right, we'll let that go for about 30, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Caramelize up good, I'll see you guys then. Welcome back. Been about right 50 minutes, just shy of an hour. 
And you see the, the one that we went ahead and coated, the barbecue sauce, nice and caramelized. The other one all natural. Got just a little bit of bone pullback. Um, one way I check my ribs for doneness is the, the finger test or use your knife, spatula, or whatever. But you get underneath it right in the middle and you see how that flex is just to the point where it's wanting to break right here. That's how you know your ribs are good and tender. If not, uh, it pretty much means they're just going to fall right off the bone. So uh, I like my ribs without the sauce. Let's cut right in here. See what we got. Maybe we can figure out where to cut without hitting the bone. Oh yeah, you can see that nice smoke ring, almost all the way through. Let's see what kind of bite we got. Mmm. To the bone. Mmm. Mmm. I love me some ribs. So, uh, the, the 3 2 1 method, play with it, figure out how you like it. I definitely like my three full hours of smoke. I don't always go the full two hours of uh, steam. The purpose of this video today was to show you guys how, if you're, you're busy, whatever, you know, you can still turn out some great cue. Just do it quick. Like I said, down and dirty on the deal. Just straight from the package, season it up on the grill. This is awesome. See you guys next time.